own brands. I only want to make shades for white people. One hour later. I've always wanted to look like an orange. Hey guys, so back in the video today, and if you like how this look turned out, then keep watching. To start this video, I am using Elle's Foundation Stick in Honey. You get 14 grams, so that is the whole of the stick that you get. So I've now applied the foundation. It gives me that flawless look, which I like. It's covered like all my spots and everything because I haven't even put concealer on yet. Because I always forget to do that first. The only thing is, it's definitely not my colour. My chest looks so yellow right now. And my face is white. And conveniently, it's called honey. But yet, yeah, it's not very yellow. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my MUA Deepening Medium just to darken this up a bit. Okay guys, so now I've put that on, I look so tan. Okay, I'm just gonna move on to concealer because I'm giving up now. I look, I look so weird now. Next, we are taking the concealer in apricot beige. So let's hope concealer and bronzer can save this video. <laughs> you can tell it's cheap. The, the lid feels really like plasticky. In here you get 2.1 mils, which I think is quite small compared to normal concealers. They're, they're quite big. Oh my god, this smells amazing! It smells really sweet! Like a type of sweet you'd have, I can't, I don't know what type, but... That's very strange for concealer to be so... sweety. <laughs> Okay, I feel like concealer did nothing just because of how it, it's really orange. It hasn't brightened my under eyes. But I'll have to try it before the foundation next time. Just to see if it does conceal. But let's move on to powder. So I've got powder in ivory. So maybe <laughs> this will lighten me up. Oh wow, it comes with like a little puff. A little elf puff. Apparently this is 5 grams. Just look how tiny that is. What powders do you know that are that small? Like if we compare it to my Miss Forty one, it's like way bigger. And it's probably cheap as well. Oh my god, that, I just can't get over how small that is. My brush is bigger than the powder. Let's revive this by using their bronzer in Sunkiss Glow and it's in the shade Warm Tan. Again, 5 grams, but yeah, it looks bigger than the powder. Oh, look at this fancy glass. Well, it's not even glass, it's plastic. I mean, it's cheap, so what do you expect? These are both in 5 grams, but look at the size of the bronzer, look at the size of the powder. The bronzer is definitely bigger, so I don't know how it's 5 grams. <laughs> wow, that looks like a sharp contour. I don't know if I could contour this just because it is quite glittery. Oh my god, I'm looking so dark. So guys, if you want to try Elf, you should because you look like you went on holiday, went to Spain for like seven weeks. <laughs> I look so dark. What the hell? I'm so glad I didn't try to do a voiceover on this video because it's gone so wrong. Oh my god, it's so dark. It's this lighting. I just took a picture on my Instagram, which I will <laughs> feature here so you can see that I am actually not that dark. Next I'm taking their highlighter in Moonlight Pearls. This is the part of the free set gift that I got. If you watch my haul then you'll know. So this yeah looks quite champagne-y. Maybe this will bring me some life back to my face. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about, the highlight though. Okay, let's go with the eyes just to bring this look back together. So this is their brow pencil in brown, deep brown. It's 18 grams. I'm glad they have a spoolie because don't you love it when that happens? Oh, it's like a crayon type tip. That's interesting. 
I'm feeling like the deep brown might be too dark, but partly that's the look we're going for here. Okay, brows are done. You might think they look good, but I'm not happy with it because just because of the colour. It looks quite black. So if you have quite like black eyebrows, I would suggest going trying the deep brown rather than the black. And it's hard to draw a tail, well a natural looking tail. I still prefer my Emmy Ray and my Borgias. I can never say that brand. Borgias. My forehead bonsai is still too dark. Uh. Can I just get off all life right now? Go so on to the eyeshadow. This is the long lasting eyeshadow, shimmery whipped, easy to blend in the colour Pate. Can you see how sheer that is? It's very creamy. You can literally just blend it with your finger and it'll be fine. Make sure you don't have nails because it's so hard to get. Like, I've got short nails and I'm still finding it hard <laughs> to get in there. It is so, so sheer that it would be better if you had, like, a black eyeshadow and then put this on for a glittery look. It's more glittery than pigmented. So it's definitely a topper more than the eyeshadow. This video is just turning to shit and I was actually excited by off because I had so much good things. I thought it was going to be really good. Oh yeah! I forgot about my blush palette, my free gift set. <sighs> Let's try and put some blush and Well, I've already put contour and highlight on, but... Let's see if this will bring my cheeks back to life. This is a light, but it was scent free, so if I had to choose a blush, I would have done the dark palette because it's got more ready type tones. Let me try this. Hmm, let me try this like ready pink and see. I actually like that pink. It's quite nice. We've got three products left: eyeliner, mascara, and lip gloss. So. Let's start off with the eyeliner. I am very weird about eyeliner because half of them just don't work. So pray to the God that this works. Finally. Oh wow, it's quite fit. I thought it would be like a, like a thin one, but it's quite fat. Wow, this is pigmented, can I say. First wipe and it's black. <laughs> Hell yeah. One hour later. Okay, I did not like this. At first, it's like, yay, it made the wing so, so easy to apply with. Look how black my eye looks now. It is very draggy. So you try and do a perfect line and nothing's really coming out, so you drag it and then it like removes some of the eyeliner. So not a fan so far, but let me see if I can make this work. Just like I made the foundation work. Okay, I do not like this eyeliner. It is dragging. It went from being really black first line to now when I'm trying to go over it, it's shearing. Like, there's no eyeliner in the middle part of my lid. <sighs> Forget it, I'm stopping here. That eyeliner is so, so shit. It's going on clear. I'm not getting anything out of this. Let's move on to mascara. I, I'm so disappointed. I thought Elf was really good. I thought Elf was the American version of MUA. Cheap but really high quality makeup and this isn't high quality I mean this deserves to be like a pound even the pound shop eyeliner was better I'm just not happy at the moment this is called volumizing and defining mascara so I now have <laughs> no hopes for the end of this video Wow, I'm shook. I was actually, I was giving up at this point. The mascara is quite good. It does define. It makes it long without making clumpy. Like it spreads them out, makes them an individual lash. I would definitely recommend anyone to try it. 
I'd have to see against my other mascaras how good it is. I'm quite a fan of it. And last but not least, let's try this lip gloss. I hate lip glosses. So, this will probably make me hate lip glosses more. This is the X Extra lip gloss in the colour Brent. I don't know why it's called Brent. Oh, see that? It drops, but I catch it. Okay. It's a very, sh it's got sparkly, like hot pink, ready type colour. <laughs> what the hell was that? Oh my god, the lid literally just came off. Elf, I'm very disappointed in you. Now my eyelashes are sticking together, so let me fix that. Okay, Elf, I gave Elf a miss. I am not even going to bother. I do still want to try the liquid foundation just to see because I do like the coverage of their foundation but their product is a no-no for me because it ain't going well. Okay so it's flat like the Primark one but more expensive than the Primark one. Actually I think this is the one I got for like 40p but it's like £3 normally so let's see how this goes. Wow, it smells like okay, I look weird. This smells like strawberry, it's so nice. It's definitely more on the red side than the pink side. Okay guys, now end of the video, I'm doing the fun part. I've got a lot to say about this brand, so let's get started. The concealer didn't do that much for me, but maybe because I should have concealed before I put foundation on. But for under eyes, it did nothing. It was so orange. I've never had, I normally go quite white with my concealers. So to have a concealer that orange, it didn't brighten, it didn't do anything for me. Powder, powder's okay. Powders do what they do. Bronzer, it was so dark. It's shimmery, so definitely use that more as a bronzer than to contour. But I mean, I can make it work. I've just got a uh, not put anything on my forehead because that looks so dark oh my god okay let's start the foundation it is it was white let's be real it looked too light on me maybe i should have just used it on its own without trying to add mixers in and just bronze and see how that would have turned out because apparently this bronzer makes me look really really tanned but yeah i like the coverage so i'm gonna give that mm, i'm gonna try the liquid one and just see how that is and if Hopefully I like that one. Highlighter I like, it might be a bit too white for my skin colour. But it's blinding, I love it, so I'm going to wear it anyway. And it did brighten up this look. It made this look look more normal, so I'm totally digging the highlighter. I think I prefer my blush gems, because it's more pinky. I don't know, even though I like white highlighters, I'm just... Maybe it's too light for my skin tan, I don't know, but I do love it and I will be wearing it. Blush, I'm surprised. This blush is so good. For light so i will definitely i think the foundation liquid foundation and the dark blush palette i definitely want to try in the future shall we go on to the eyes brows is just it's a no for me it looks black deep brown is not deep brown it is black it's quite sheen it's hard to do a tail it doesn't look that natural on me maybe you like this but i just don't eyes I'm not going to hate on eyeshadow because I think it is a topper. I definitely wouldn't have it on its own. So I'm going to try it out as a topper and see how that goes. Eyeliner is a no-no. 0 out of 10. Like the deal. Avoid, avoid. Abort. <laughs> it went on like a dream. First flick and I thought this would be my next love. And then I carried on applying it and it thinned out. It's You can see your lash line, your skin. It is not black, it is so so sheer. This is black and then the liner is black, like the wing. But in this bit, because I tried to do another layer and it just dragged, it removed the colour, it's clear, like you can see through it. This side was even worse, after I tried to do this eye, like no colour, I was getting no colour out of that eyeliner. It's so sheer, I couldn't even do a wing, so I'm dragging it, no colour is coming out. Just avoid 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 another thing i'd mention guys is the eyeliner is called black is black but yeah it's very black it's more like a gray barely there it should be called transparent that's what it should be called mascara after the eyeliner i'm surprised 
it is quite good I would recommend it to you because it defines it makes them long I'm just not loving this eye right now because the top and the bottom right in the corner it keeps sticking together I don't know why it's doing that but yes mascara on point love it lips it's not glossy so that's a good thing now when you do that you can get like the gooey type mm -mm. it is very bright in your face it is definitely red it's got sparklies in it so it's not like a matte gloss I would have to try this again see if like throughout eating drinking and all that how long it lasts but it is quite it's still quite wet feeling so I don't think it would last that long overall I'm disappointed with this brand I had high hopes for it and it just flopped on me literally the pan lamb did better and Primark did better for me I am just moving on okay guys it's the end of the video I hope you guys enjoyed after that review I doubt I will ever buy elf again apart from I want to try the liquid foundation and their dark palette blush but apart from that and I would recommend the mascara but apart from that I would not buy or recommend anything else it just it failed it was a huge flop for me but yeah hope you guys enjoyed tell me what are your favorite elf products or miss products you've hated from them and yeah until then I'll see you guys later